It's a new year and I know many people have taking a solo trip as a new year's resolution or a new year's goal. And if you're one of those people and you have absolutely no idea how to start or where to start, you can start right here. Because in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a few solo travel trip ideas that I think you can consider for taking your first solo trip and getting out there. And all of these are really great ideas for travelers who want to take a solo trip, but also are hoping to meet other people in the process. And honestly, these are also good ideas to do with your family and friends. But if you're not down for waiting, good on you, because we don't do we don't do waiting around over here. So the first idea is for all of you runners out there. If you love running races, if you love marathons, Ironmans, things like that, and the first idea is to build a trip around running a race. I mean, if you love running on your own and this is something that you love to do as a hobby, then you might enjoy incorporating that into your travels. I know that I cannot take credit for this, but I have a friend of mine who is an avid runner and she does this all the time. And I've really watched her take these epic solo travel trips all around running races. She'll pick a city that she wants to explore, sign up for a race there, and she'll make a whole trip around it. The next trip idea is to travel for food. It's really easy to eat a dish and not know anything about it, not know its history or the cultural relevance to it, where it comes from, how it originated. Food and drink are so closely tied to culture that it's a really good entry point into understanding another culture. If there is a particular cuisine that you love or that you're interested in, you can take food tours, you can do a cooking class, you can even create your own food tour. I mean, I did something a little similar to this, not exactly like this, but I did this when I was in Tucson. I had wanted to go to Tucson for ages and I one of the main reasons why I wanted to go was because I heard so much about the food the first day I was there I created my own little mini taco tour which I'll link down below that was fun and while yes I didn't go there solely for the food it was a big factor into why I wanted to travel to Tucson and a large part of my trip was centered around eating as much food and trying as much food as I could also food tends to bring people together right so it's also a really good gateway to meeting other people on your trips and on your travels especially if you are doing something like a cooking class or a food tour you can learn so much about someone just from sharing a meal with them. How far would you travel to see your favorite musical artist or your favorite band? Building an entire trip around seeing your favorite band or seeing your favorite artist can make for a really memorable trip. I love concerts. I love music. I love music festivals. I'm definitely that kind of person. And if you feel a little iffy about going to a concert alone, please don't. Our music festival is really enjoyable with other people, especially with your friends. Yes, but they can be just as enjoyable alone. And I would hate to see you miss out on doing something fun and having a memorable trip just because you don't want to do it alone. And I know I've said this before, but sometimes pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and taking risks can lead to some really rewarding experiences. However, I will say, if you are going to a music festival alone, just be careful and do your best to stay as safe as possible because, because we all know what can happen sometimes at these music festivals. As much as I love them, we all know. Travel solo to learn a language. If you don't know much about me or my story, this is pretty much my life. Studying Spanish actually led me to solo traveling because one of the most pivotal moments in my life was when I was kind of stuck in a rut with Spanish and I was in college and I decided, you know what? I am going to find a random language school in Spain and I'm going to go there for two to three months and just soak it up. And that is exactly what I did. And that was my very first solo trip. So all that just to say, it does take a bit of planning and sometimes a lot of money, but if you can get that together, it is an excellent idea for a solo trip and you can make it as long or as short as you want. And there are so many short-term and long-term language, um, language academies and language schools out there in a few places will give you a visa to come there and study. So if you are learning a new language and want to solo travel, definitely consider putting those two together and 
taking it on a solo trip. If you're loving this video and you're finding it helpful so far, then definitely make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. So that leads me to my next solo travel trip idea, which is to study a craft, build a solo trip around studying a craft. And that could be anything from crocheting and knitting to studying the arts of spirits and liquor like bourbon or tequila. Education can take you far and wide and there's just no cap, there's no limit on where it can take you. I had a coworker once whose son was into bird watching and he was really good. I mean, this dude won awards and such and he traveled so much doing bird watching, both on his own and with a team and with a group of people. If you love working on a specific craft or a skill, I guarantee you there are ways and spaces that you can go with it around the world and you can let that skill and that um, craft take you on a solo adventure. If you have a favorite book or favorite TV show or movie, take it to the next level by taking a solo trip to where that movie or that film was filmed or based. Hunting down real life filming locations or just trying to get the essence of where a book was based as a solo trip is such a fun idea. And oftentimes books TV shows have an individual effect on us, right? It's very personal and intimate. Why not take that and make a solo adventure out of it? If you're looking for some inspiration on this one, a question like this was asked in a travel group that I'm a part of on Facebook, and here are some of the answers. Bath, Jane Austen, and totally worth it. The Bahamas and Thailand to James Bond movie shooting locations, or this one. My parents took our family on a vacation to Italy entirely because of the movie Under the Tuscan Sun. We did a week long bus tour and then stayed in a bed and breakfast in a castle in Tuscany for two weeks. It was an absolute dream trip and that we all loved and it really sparked my love to travel more. You see, and the list goes on and on and on. Definitely make sure you check me out over on Instagram and TikTok. Hardcore sports fans go hard for their favorite team. And as someone who started playing soccer when I was six, I can tell you I am a ride or die fan for our US women's and men's national team. And I've watched Messi dribble the ball in real time. And depending on the sport, seasons can be long. Your favorite sports teams need just as much support at their away games as they do at their home games. So that is why my next solo travel trip suggestion or idea is to build a solo trip around seeing your favorite sports team. You also know that there is nothing like connecting with another fan, especially if you're sitting in the dedicated fan area, exploring a new city, favorite sports teams, hopefully celebrating with other raging fans sounds like the perfect solo trip. And lastly, another solo travel trip idea is to go on a wellness or spiritual retreat. Sometimes we just need to get away, like far away. <laughs> Taking a wellness retreat or whatever it is that makes you feel grounded and connected, it's a really good idea to build a solo trip around that. And it's a really great way to take your first solo adventure, connect with yourself, and at the very least, just disconnect from the world and just spend some good time in solitude, relaxing and rejuvenating. If you need some other starter points on how to get started in solo travel, check out any of these videos here and I will see you next week. Bye. Hardcore sports fans go hard for their favorite team <laughs> and players. She doesn't want anything to do with me except when I'm filming and then she comes around <laughs>